Hi, Gemini, and welcome to your Spirit Guide Messages for October 2019. I'm going to start by pulling a card for overall energy, and this is the main theme for October, but also could be um, what your guides would like you to uh, focus on and think about as well. And uh, your guides uh, have an agenda of their own for this reading, so you guys get five cards, so let's see what they have to say. Okay, so we have Wonders coming in. We have blessings. <clears throat> Fulfillment. Wow. You guys are playing around Gemini. They're like, no, good stuff's coming for Gemini. Let's talk about it. Ooh, ooh, and we got gateway. Oh, Gemini. Okay, what is the last card? Da, 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 da. And I promise you, not every card in this deck is like all peaches and happiness and and rainbows. No, and unicorns. Nope. Uh uh. Um, you guys had these five cards jump out, and so Gemini. To me, this is like October is a huge turning point for many of you, and your guys want you to know that. Okay, new wonders. Like you're gonna be inspired um, and brought back to life in certain ways because of these blessings that are coming in. Blessings and fulfillment. Like things are manifesting for you. Okay, a gateway, a new door opening for you, which is leading to happiness. So, Gemini, this is like the magic lottery of energy, honestly. For you guys and that's like coming through so strong so let's pull some cards and see what angels are with you guys you know to see more of what this is about what is manifesting what door is opening but yeah it's like you guys are if the you know if there was a lottery for energy positive energy like the jackpot top prize like you guys are winning at gemini with this uh Set up just flying out like that. Oh my gosh, absolutely fantastic for you guys. So, let's see what angels are also with you. Angel of Solitude. Okay, that's interesting. You may have be coming out of a period of hibernation, of seclusion, of just feeling like bad luck and nothing going your way. It's like, it is this, it's you coming out of this, and the angel of solitude coming in to help expand your consciousness into, you know, reflection of the solitude journey you've been on. You know, it doesn't mean you've been all alone, but if there's some part of you or just something that you've been going through, very private, you know, feeling like you are alone in it. And uh, now here's the angel of solitude coming in, letting you know, letting you see you have um, earned and achieved on this journey at a spiritual level, which is now bringing all this positive energy to you, Gemini, because you've learned some life lessons right there. Angel of Gratitude, see? Look at how happy you are. The Angel of Gratitude is showing up because of all of this positive energy, like, oh, Gemini. It is time for you to be happy. It is time for things to really go your way. Yes, and then look at this, Angel of New Beginnings. Okay, yep, things, uh, gateway, new beginnings, door opening for you guys. Oh, I love it, Gemini. I'm like, do we have to pull more cards? This is so beautiful, just as it is. I know that we must. So, those are going to go down here. So, um, let's see. I feel like the unicorn is the one that we need to keep out facing forward, like the gateway, new beginnings of the gateway is leading you to so much happiness and blessings, um, and it's time for you, because you've been like, you know, there's been lack going on, um, you could be completely alone, it's not feeling like you have a friend in the world, or like feeling like the universe is against you, you can't win for trying, don't have enough resources, abundance, like there's just something here um, where you're feeling very alone in it. And now that part of your journey is over and completed and you've learned a lot, Gemini, you truly have. And now in October, you are going to start realizing that and through that realization, doors be opening, blessings are coming in because it's time and it's time to shift those energies and walk on a new path. So, let's see. Let's 
cards are going to come out to give us more information. We have the lovers. This actually is the card that represents your energy in the tarot, Gemini. So um, this right here could just be talking about you and how happy you are. Also, this could be talking about new friends coming in or strengthening a bond, feeling very supported and loved and connected, whereas in the past you haven't been feeling that. This could also talk about um, a romantic relationship that may be showing up as you step through this gateway, okay? But with the lovers, you know, this is talking about the happiness of your heart and your mind and feeling it balanced and in sync, all right? In alignment with yourself and with the universe. Next out is the Five of Pentacles. So look at this. This is the rejection. This is the solid solitude energy. This is not having enough abundance or enough resources. Um, you know, feeling oppressed, like no solutions, no answers, can't win for trying. Next out is the Nine of Wands. And look at this. You've been on a journey, Nine of Wands. Um, and September is the ninth month, so I feel, you know, 2019 may have been a bit of a challenge for Geminis, but now as you move into October, you are ending this journey, the trials, the tribulations, it's over, it's time for you to uh, move into a period of ease, peace, harmony. Next out is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, look at that. And this is like you feel like you can't win if you're trying. Like putting your best foot forward doesn't seem to do anything for you. But Gemini, that's what's changing. That's why your guys had all of this fly out, okay? Because of these energies that you've been working with. And look at lastly, the devil. So it's been intense for you. It has felt oppressed, um, confusing. Um, I don't know what to do. And you've been hanging in there, Gemini. You absolutely have been. Okay, so now that we have the tarot out, let's revisit. So wonder, this is which tarot but with this with that lover. Okay, so um, this relationship, this connection, um, or just feeling completely in alignment within yourself, uh, you know, in alignment with the universe, it's like a wonder, a magic, um, something very special about that, okay? And then the blessings would be coming out under this five of pentacles, which is where you're feeling oppressed, rejected, alone, not enough abundance, not enough resources. There is blessings coming into that, Gemini, and fulfillment. Look at this. I love, oh gosh, your guides are so beautiful. I love this reading. Fulfillment on that nine of wands. You have fulfilled this part of your journey. It is complete. You are ready to move forward. Next out is happiness. The Seven of Pentacles can't win for trying. Um, you're going to understand why certain things didn't work out because of what is now coming in and the gateway sitting on this devil. You know, the walking away, the door opening, getting out of that oppression, you know, whatever's holding you back. So, Gemini, absolutely fantastic turn of events for you guys. Like, that should be the title of your reading. I might name it that, Turn of Events in your favor it is time you have walked the line you have done the work you have been pushed to your limits you have like oh some of you may have just finally like gotten to a point where you're like i give up i give up i give up like i'm not dealing with this like it doesn't matter who i am what i do it's the same thing over and over and over and guess what gemini is changing it is changing the beautiful turn of events in your favor the way it needs to be. You've learned your lessons now. It's expanding into your consciousness. You're coming into alignment with yourself. You are coming into alignment with your connections and alignment with the universe filled with gratitude. New beginning with the gateway opening. Happiness is all, it's all good stuff. So let's pull some cards to see what uh, your, the advice for you guys is from your spirit guide. love that card there. But seeing that with the new beginning, I just know good things are coming for you guys. Okay. Um, secret uh, temptation. Being led astray. Uh, Gemini. This right here has advice. 
through your blessing and all the positive things that are happening for you, let nobody's greedy hands come out and expect anything because no, what's coming your way is meant for you, was earned by you, they didn't walk this path, they didn't walk this journey, don't let anybody guilt you or shame you or make you feel bad, what is coming to you, you deserve it, it is owed to you and it belongs to you, let nobody astray on that Gemini. Next out, align your universe. Navigate distractions. <laughs> so this is like, don't get uh, caught up in distractions. And this is like, navigate distractions, align your universe. But see, this is your guide just confirming what I said, is you have aligned yourself. You have walked your journey. You have done the work. And so what's coming to you is owed to you. Let nobody make you think differently okay and also Gemini you know put yourself first through October absolutely put yourself first okay because there may be a you know point along the journey in October where um, you know somebody may be asking something of you that to compromise your stance your position yourself don't do it absolutely not you put yourself first what is best for you. That is what your spirit guides say in these two cards right there, okay? And lastly, you lead the way. Light your own path. And look at that. And that's for the new beginning and the gateway. Don't let anybody um, distract you, try to take from you. Uh, shame you, make you feel like you don't want to deserve what's coming your way, what's happening for you. No, you do. You absolutely do. I see the struggle that you've been through and all the life experience that you had to go through to get you to this point. You deserve this, okay? It is yours. A thousand percent. You did the work. Like nobody, nobody will try to make you feel bad, Gemini. So let's pull one final card. your outcome, okay? And with this being your outcome, Gemini, what I felt about that is the, the illness that is now within you, where there was the chaos, you know, all of this crazy energy. Now, as it is turn of events, the way everything is shifting, the door opening for Gemini, the stillness, the calmness, the tranquility within, okay? Happiness. And uh, it's not like where you feel this upset emotions, nervous, anxious energy, you know, the peace within you, like the universe with you is in perfect order. Okay, Gemini, so beautiful energies for October from your spirit guides. Those are your messages. I am wishing you all the best. Take care. Yeah. <laughs>